Hey folks, this is just a quick update about my bedside computer. What a surprise. Seems like something I would make a video of every minute is swapping out the bedside computer like I used to when I felt like it. Now, I swap it out. now I'm swapping it out because I'm having issues with it. Now the issues I'm having with this are have to do with the Wi-Fi actually. It has to do with the Wi-Fi that's on the uh, Sandy Bridge platform that a lot of these business class laptops have. Um, you know, the Centrino stuff. Uh, this Elite Book is a fantastic machine. I love this computer. It is built very well. You know, it has the keyboard light. has everything I like. has AMD graphics and all that stuff. But it has the Intel Centrino uh, 6300 wireless card in it which apparently has issues with Debian. So, I decided, so, and you know, I, well, I haven't decided. I put up with its bullshit for a little while. Uh, what I'd have to do, essentially, is reboot the machine when it started to act up, which I got pretty tired of doing, because I'd have web pages open with videos where I left off on YouTube, and... I'd hate to have to go back onto somebody's channel and just scroll right back down to where I was just because the Wi-Fi wasn't behaving. So, this seems to be an issue on the Sandy Bridge platform of wireless. It's just, it, it doesn't resolve DNS properly sometimes, especially when uh, waking, from, waking from suspend. When you suspend the machine a lot, like I do, I'll, you know, I'll come to bed, open it up to watch a video, close it in the morning, leave it asleep all day, then come back and wake it up again. And I have a feeling that's probably part of it, just because the machine doesn't reboot all that often, it just goes to sleep. Which is why I swapped this out for this ThinkPad T430. This does not have dedicated graphics, it has the onboard uh, Intel HD 4000, but those graphics are good enough. They actually, 4000's no slouch, it does pretty darn well. So that's no big deal. Uh, it all, this is also an ivory bridge machine, which uses a completely separate wireless card. Let me turn the brightness up so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me uh, go to LSPCI here, and you can see that it, instead of instead of the Centrino 6300, it uses the Centrino 6205, which is a completely different card and seems to behave a lot better in uh, this version of Debian I'm using, Debian 8, with the Linux 3.16 kernel. Uh, it just behaves better. Plain behaves better. And, you know, I can put the machine to sleep, wake it back up, and it'll work right away. Whereas if I wake this machine up, I have to let it sit for a little while and contemplate before it will get a, a good internet connection. So, I think that this, this has to do with the kernel version that Debian is using right now. I bet if I used Ubuntu or something that had a more up-to-date kernel, that issue would not be there. Uh, but... Honestly, I like Debian. I want to continue using it, so I'm going to use it on hardware that it behaves with. So, you know, the T430 is better anyway. It has an Ivy Bridge CPU. It has a backlit keyboard, much better sound. And wireless, it doesn't act up. And the HD4000 is more than good enough for a bedside machine. So, you know, it's an, it's, it's an upgrade from this, I think. Uh, I wasn't planning on using this as a bedside computer, but it actually makes a really good one, mostly because of the much improved sound and uh, the backlit keyboard. You know, it's a pretty great machine for that purpose. So, you know, this, this change ended up being a positive one in the end. Hopefully, in the next version of Debian, that stupid bug with the wireless is fixed, because it's pretty annoying. Uh, but it doesn't have that issue in Windows, so this HP will probably become a Windows 10 machine. And it runs it quite well, so that'll be nice. But this ThinkPad T430 is now the bedside machine. I guess I'll show you the specs of this thing, just so you're familiar with it. Alright, this uses a uh, an Intel Core i5-3320M at 2.6 GHz, and of course I have 8 gigs of RAM in this machine. Uh, and it has the uh, 480 gig Intel SSD in it, just like the... HP did so. In essence, this is the replace. This is this is the uh, the new replacement, and it's quite a nice machine, and makes a very good bedside computer. So, 
this is not the most interesting video in the world either. I just thought I'd update you guys on that. And maybe maybe those of you out there that use Debian are having similar problems that I am with the Intel Centrino 6300 wireless card. I suppose I could swap out the wireless card eventually if uh, a new version of Debian doesn't fix that issue. But I have a feeling it, it has to do with the kernel more than anything else. Or the module, the IWL Wi-Fi module that I'm using. Uh, the module in the OS, not the module physically. But, yeah, anyway, that's this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a good one. Ciao.